Hello, how you guys doing? My name is Kevin Quintero and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is one of my first videos that I'm going to be making. Uh, I plan on making a lot of videos about programming, maybe video production. I'm not uh, really sure in what direction I'm going to go, but I do plan on making a lot of content and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this first video, I actually um, realized that Visual Studio 2017 finally released and I wanted to uninstall my Visual Studio 2015 and install my Visual Studio 2017 and I wanted to take you through the steps that I'm going to be going through to do this. So I'll begin by opening up my command prompt. Uh, I'm going to navigate to the folder that Visual, the Visual Studio's exe file is in. So I uh, type in cd dot dot which takes me to one directory above the directory I'm already in. So I will go to my program data folder. So I'll just put cd pro data. And as you can see, uh, every time I press tab, the command prompt automatically knows, uh, automatically fills in the rest of the word. So the next folder I'll go to is package cache, or cache, however you want to say it. So I'll put CD and then P A C K and then tab and it'll fill it in automatically. So now the next folder I want to find is my actual folder that the that the uh, EXE files in. And before I do this, I will type in DIR, which stands for directory, just so you see um, what kind of directories are in here. And as you can see, they don't really have a specific name for them, so you might want to go and do a full search and just look up um, Visual Studios. I'll type it in right here. Put in VS underscore and whatever Visual Studios type you have, either enterprise, community, or per professional, and it should um, it should pop up once you look at it up in your like in your folders. You could just go to any folder, and I'll show you. And so here I'm in my s local s uh, disk, right? And I will type in vs underscore community community. I'm not even gonna type in. Uh, I'll type in. <clears throat> dot exe and then it'll find it So as you can see, it found it right here. And this is the information that you want. This right here. So I already have it copied. So what I'm gonna do is paste it. Oh, before I do that, of course I wanna put in CD, then paste it. Click enter. So now I'm in the folder. So if I put type in DIR, I can see that Visual Studios underscore community dot exe is in here. So now what I would want to type in is um, vs underscore, I can press tab, and so I'm going to type in vs underscore community slash Star slash force. And let's just wait to see what happens.
So it's uninstalling and uh, we'll come back. I'll come back once it's all done. Okay, um, now it's all finally done. As you can see here, it says all specified components have been uninstalled successfully, which is what we wanted. So we'll close setup. And I'm going to exit here. Now what I'm gonna do is restart my computer and I'll be back to install Visual Studios 2017. Okay, so now that I'm finished uh, restarting my computer, I'm going to navigate to the Visual Studios website. Um, you can put slash downloads or just Google it. It's really easy to find. Go to free download right here on Visual Studios uh, community because that's what I want. And now I am going to begin downloading it. And this is the first time I'm downloading it, so I'm not very sure what to expect. Okay, so right here I see it's giving us options for what we want to download. As of right now, it is, I guess, 602 megabytes. So let's see what we would like to download. I'm going to look more into it and see which ones I want. It's okay, I'm, yes. .NET. I encourage a lot of people to look up what .NET is or get a little get familiar with .NET because I've been uh, applying for jobs and there's a lot of companies that actually are looking for .NET developers and people that are um, knowledgeable have some kind of knowledge in uh, C sharp. So let's just go ahead and. I like Python, Google's project, cloud apps, that sounds pretty interesting, node.js development, build scalable network applications, I'm um, not really familiar with node.js, of course uh, JS is JavaScript, we'll see, maybe I'll get into it. This is all actually pretty interesting. I really like using Python and I took a data mining class which was data analytics and understanding that. I also took a, um, a database class so this is kind of interesting. Now I just want to broaden my, broaden my knowledge on all of these things so why not just install them all. So the full installation will be 50.57 gigabytes, which is a lot. Because I'm installing all these different things. And I kind of want this one. Which one? development tools there's a lot of different things you can look here but for the most part I guess this is what I'm going to install even though it's 50.57 gigabytes uh, it's a lot but let's just go ahead and install it so now it is beginning to install and I will be back when it's all done. So I just finished uh, installing the software and I launched it and now it is setting up. So right here you can choose your color theme and you can decide what development settings you want. You can also apply a customization from previous version. Um, you could basically do anything you want. Uh, I'm gonna just go with the dark in general. 
and then start it. And that's basically it. Now you have uh, Visual Studio 2017 installed and you're ready to begin coding and programming as you please. And here it is. And you can start doing anything you want. And so I want to thank you if you watched the whole video. I know it wasn't the best video. I have a lot of improvement to do. But hopefully in the future I'll uh, we'll have better videos and I plan on coming out with a lot of content. So if you have any advice for me, any criticism, any feedback that you want to give me, feel free to leave it in the comments. And thank you for watching the video.